Hello and welcome back to Ant Holifer. Today we are building a new ant nest. This nest is made by White Tongue, which is easy and cheap to build. So that's why we have used that today. And uh, before the before we start building and the tutorial starts, I'm just gonna say thank you to Ant Australia because uh, they have made a video like this and where they are, where they have really talked through how you do every single thing. And um, this paper you are seeing here is just um, me copying it and uh, putting it on some paper and, uh, and um, translating it into Danish so I could follow up with how they were building it. So to begin here I'm with my stepdad and uh, he helped a bit with uh, some different materials because I didn't have that many things. But we are starting with um, cutting it up a bit because um, the the white on block was a kit um, wasn't very uneven or wasn't very even so um, we had to cut a bit off and um, sandpaper it afterwards because uh, yeah we wanted to be or my stepdad he's a very perfectionist so we wanted to be um, very good and uh, I couldn't say anything but uh, yeah hell yeah that sounds like a great idea so what you're seeing here is just him trying to make it um, even so it isn't uneven and this is just my stepdad also just making sandpapering the glass we need to put on top you could use um, use plexiglass but we used real glass just because it looked way more good at the final result I think and uh, he thought that as well so here we have taken the glass we will put on the um, white tongue later on um, and just uh, seeing how big it was um, it, it needs to be approximately a half to one centimeter in the white tongue or the white tongue needs to be bigger so you have a bit of room on putting the glass on and just just a bit of room so it looks better at the end so when you're starting drawing your design of your nest you need to remember to first start with where the pipe is going in um, and uh, that's what i'm doing here i'm just finding out the middle of the white tongue white tongue and and where the nest entrance should be and um, since it's su such a big block i chose to make two nest entrance because I felt like it would be a lot better if they had two since it's they can, it can it's a really big nest so that's why I'm making two and when you have made that you can just start drawing and um, in my design I decided to have two watering holes because then the sponges inside won't get very messy because then you t first you take it one side and then the second side and then they will like get dry and then you'll give them water yeah first you take the one side give that water Meanwhile, the other is dry, and then you take the others, the other side, so that gets wet, and the first side gets dry, and that way you you don't get fungus and all kind of weeds here. So do do bear that in mind when you're drawing your design that you need to have your water places, and um, you can't just make a regular hole and just put water in. But since I have Leiches niger and they're a kind of small ant species, um, I just want to make the safe way. Um, but it didn't end up that good and you'll find out later why. I'm just starting with the watering places because um, they were a bit too small I thought and I thought I would rather start with that and make it a large water place than um, make the whole nest and then think ah oh, it was too small. Just so, so that's why I'm starting. And you need to do it from the outside and in because then you have a lot more control on where you are hitting. And uh, by the way I'm just using a screw, an old screwdriver and uh, a hammer. Um, yeah, to cast this out. And then when we are done with that, you just simply start carving out the rest of your nest. Um, again, I would really recommend doing it from the outside and then inside. Because um, you can get the rough part first and then start really digging it through. And again, this is also something Ants Australia has talked about. And he has a very, he has, yeah, he's again he's talking much more in detail where I'm just showing you and kind of just seeing what I'm doing.
So this took around an hour of me just carving with this hammer and the screwdriver and when I was pretty satisfied with how it looked um, I have made different chambers. Some of the chambers um, were deeper um, those closest to the nest entrance they were a bit um, deeper just because I thought it's a bit better with some yeah, height difference also something Anne's Australia said credits to him um, but yeah then I started going in, into more details with just um, the screwdriver and just using my strange to um, kind of make it even and make, make it look a bit little better and not that rough look because I, I like this a bit more smooth look so that, that's why I just started using the screwdriver alone without the hammer and then I started making the nest entrance, um, which I took a small screwdriver first and just just um, made a hole uh, slowly, made a hole, and then took the larger one and then make the hole bigger. Um, simply because white tongue is a very, uh, it's a it's a material that can easily break, so I just took my time, um, yeah, just slowly made made the um, the hole. And the reason I did this kind of early was because I wanted to see how it looked before I really start carving the nest entrance because I wanted to see if there was it if it hit the right place or it was completely bad and I needed to make the nest entrance a lot different. But all in all it went pretty good. And then I started making the nest entrance a bit bigger so my tube could fit in there. Um, remember the nest entrance needs to be a bit smaller than your tube because then you can put it in hot water and or just heat it up with a heat gun like I did like we did later um, simply because then it's a lot harder to take out and the ants can't e uh, escape very easily and then after an hour and a half around that time uh, I was pretty satisfied with how it looked and then I just started using some sandpaper to soften it out a little bit though it was a lot harder than I expected <laughs> And I didn't really have like a file that could go into the small details. I only had like, or my stepdad only had like the big ones. So I just used some sandpaper and just said it looks fine from here. Um, yeah, and just smoothen all around it a bit more. And then to remove your your drawings, how of how it looks, your pen pen things. Um, we took some sandpaper and a block and then just made the whole white tongue a bit more pleasant to look at and it really helped on the sides they were so hard before now they're a bit wrong rounded and it really helped how it looks and just all around if you have some leftovers from a, a old sore that made, made a bit of mess on the white tongue you can just sandpaper it off very easily and then I drilled or I used a screwdriver to make the small hole for my um, for the watering places and um, I had a little pupet um, and I just that's how I will water them later on so I just took that and saw is it too big or is it si or yeah just use that as a comparison and uh, as you can see here it can go in and out so that's just great and then we just cleaned it off with a bit of uh, air um, my stepdad it has all kind of weird stuff like a compressed or a air compressor so it was very easily done um, and yeah, when you when there's not much much dust particles left on the white tongue, you should just um, yeah. When you're satisfied with how it looks um, and there's not too much dust left, um, it's time to go inside again. And uh, here, um, my stepdad is cutting out the sponge bunches for the watering places. So this is here where you can paint the nest. But uh, I decided. I don't want to paint it. It looks very awesome without the paint. Um, the opposite of what it, I, Ants Australia would say, but um, but yeah. Um, but then um, you can then before you put you're pretty much done now. You just need to put the glass on. But before you put the glass on, you also really need to remember to put your tubes inside. And this is then done with a heat gun. And then we chose to use silicone as our glue. Um, and yeah, here you can just see the tape, or the, yeah, the tape is so the glue doesn't hit the white tongue or the leftover glue, but just hits the tape. And that was a brilliant idea thought by myself that. And here we're just putting on all of the silicone, and then you're done pretty much. Um, you do need to remember that the silicone takes about 24 hours to like strengthen. 
because I made a little mistake with the sponges, the ants could actually get into the sponges if they really wanted, I think. I'm not completely sure, I think. So we made these small things to put inside um, the watering holes when we were done. But else, the nest is done now. Uh, you just gotta wait 24 hours and thumb something I also used, um, which I haven't done yet, but I will do tomorrow, is put a bit of, um, like, uh, I don't know what it's called, sofa protectors, leg protectors, the things you put under your table or something so it doesn't destroy the ground. I hope you like this uh, different kind of video. Uh, I will make an update soon on the ants, because they have a lot of eggs and larvae and pupae or what it's called. So be excited for that guys. Hope you liked the video. Bye.